Oh shit! What's going on in the hood? Everything good? Man, I tell you, I got nothing going on right now, man. Like my, my, the biggest part of my day is going to Burger King. Biggest part of my day. I get excited. I get real excited when I see an onion ring on my fries. I'm like, holy shit, that was awesome. <laughs> and like, ever drop a French fry in your car and find it like two years later? <laughs> It like still looks the same. You could eat that shit still. <laughs> it's awesome, man. But I love, I honestly love Taco Bell. That's like my favorite fast food. But I can't make any plans for the next 24 hours, you know? <laughs> Horrible food, man. You ever see these Taco Bell commercials, too? They actually the one with the like, two hot white chicks working there. Where do you see like two hot white chicks working in a Taco Bell, man? You know? Weird. Then you got the other one where the guy's like, Hey, pal, where'd you get that sandwich? He's not even talking to him like he's his pal at all. You know, he's talking with an attitude. It's not right. Like, I don't talk to my friends like that, you know? Like, some guy will ask me to move his car. He's like, hey, buddy, move your car. And I'm like, this guy's not talking to me like he's my buddy. It's not right. And they got the Taco Bell dog. Like, what happened to the Taco Bell dog? The dog, like, just disappeared. Cause it was, they, they got rid of the dog because it was racist or some shit. They found like Nazi memorabilia in his house. All sorts of shit. Hated the blacks apparently. You know? Nasty dogs too though. Like ever tried petting a chihuahua? It's like, I, like I was petting one one time. I thought it was working out pretty good, you know? Then like halfway through he's fucking nipping at my hand. I mean, I, I don't understand those dogs. They're just always so pissed. I mean, I would be pissed too if I could fit in a purse. You know? <laughs> huh. Yeah, so, I don't do a chihuahua, I don't like petting dogs anymore. And, uh, I accidentally banged a retarded chick last week. It wasn't, hear me out now, it wasn't my fault because we were drinking, I thought she was drunk. Like, I bring her home, the next day she's acting the same. And I'm like, what the fuck? Then, then I see she breaks out my Spongebob coloring book. <laughs> coloring all outside the lines like she's the kid from the ring. <laughs> I'm like, and then on top, what really pissed me off was when she ate all my crayons. <laughs> and she didn't even save me any crayons. <laughs> Fucking bitch, man. <laughs> but, uh, like, dating's rough, man. It's really rough. You know? I, I went on e eHarmony.com. Cause they lure you in with the hot chick on a, you know, on a website. They get you with the hot chick. Then you go there. There's not, there's no hot chicks on there at all. I'm like fuck. So they're like, I mean, there's no hot guys on there either. But I'm not looking for dudes, you know. But so I'm looking for. I finally meet up with this one chick. Checked out her picture. Looked all right. I meet up with her. I walk in the bar and I see some fat chick waving at me. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, oh, come on. I'm like, I sit down, I'm like, what the hell happened? She's like, what? I'm like, did you eat the girl in the picture or some shit? Like, what the fuck? I mean, did you eat the bus you got off on on the way over here? That's why I don't, I don't do the websites no more, man. It's bullshit. What are you doing? And, uh, any, any, anybody travel anywhere? Like, anybody, anybody been to Texas at all? Texas, yeah. Yeah? Like, they, they, they always have that thing where everything's bigger in Texas, man. It's bullshit. Because I went to go, I got off the plane in Texas. I would have taken a leave, my dick was still small. <laughs> oh, that's bullshit. The only thing I saw bigger in Texas was people's opinions on their belt buckles. That's the only thing I saw bigger. You know. Hit like, you know, all my friends have kids now. You know, it's annoying. Coming to my house, breaking shit. And, all, and, all, and the parents always have an excuse why the kid does dumb shit. Oh, he's tired. He, he's very tired. Kids run around the house like he's on fucking speed or some shit. Kicking my dog in the ribs. Oh, he's just tired. He'll, he'll wear himself out. I'm like, yeah, your kid's just tired, but my dog is laying his own blood and piss. It's fucking bullshit, man. Tired. When I'm tired, I take a nap. You know what I mean? This kid... I, what else do I got going on? I, I, went to, I went to the gas station the other day, right? And uh, 
Ever get the guy that's like I'm ever get the guy that's yelling at you? He's like, you know he wants something. He's like, yo, buddy! I'm like, fuck. I'm looking around the gas station, no one else is there. I'm like, shit. He's this guy's talking to me. He wants money or some shit. I'm like, oh man, he wants he doesn't want to change or something. So he comes over. He's like, hey man, I'm like fifty years old, I was in Vietnam. He's like, can you spare some change? First I'm like, fifty in Vietnam, it must have been like eight when he's fighting wars and shit. And, and, and the grossest thing was, he's wearing flip-flops. Like, who did, like, some people shouldn't wear flip-flops, man. His, his fucking toes look like tree branches. <laughs> like, holy shit. And so I, I, I gave him change, and then he says he shit himself. Oh. And I had to hand him, I just gave him money, and he shit himself. And that's not right. And the thing with the flip-flops, I mean, this guy's feet are so gross. Like, if, if he goes to the beach and walks in the water, all the sea life will scatter. You know? Yeah. Hold on. But, uh... What else is going on? How are you guys doing? Everybody, everybody alright? Awesome. Every, like... Little fast food I'm doing and shit. I... I when I go to take a shit, you know, everybody inspects the... Listen. Everybody inspects their deposit, just to make sure everything's all right. You know what I mean? I like I'll, I'll text it. So like it's, I'll take a picture of it and text it to my friends. You know, because it looks like the letter J or Gary Coleman's face or some shit. Like that's awesome. But the worst thing to do is like when people take a shit, is they close the door. You know, they close the door and they'll spray some lemon scented Lysol or some shit. You walk in the door, it's like a brick hitting you in the face. It's like you smell lemons and shit. Like, what the fuck did that guy eat? Lemons? <laughs> Holy shit! It was just—it was disgusting. Really, just gross. You know. That's why I just try not to. That, that's why I'm just more careful when I see a bathroom door close now. Gotta take it easy. Yeah, and Lysol with their fucking dumb. I kill 99.9 percent .9 germs. <laughs> These motherfuckers managed to kill 99.9% .9 fucking germs. And they can't finish the job. <laughs> if I can't finish my job, I'm gonna fucking get fired, man. You know? And, I mean, I'm gonna come out with my own disinfectant spray that kills 0.01% germs. Just to make up for their mistake. You know, <laughs> you know what? You guys have been great. <laughs> great crowd. Awesome. And, uh... I'm going to get drunk on a boardwalk if you guys want to join me. I'm getting, I'm getting some beer. Thanks, everybody. Give it up for Larry!